Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here with the Redesign Creative Design Team Signature Style Inspiration Hop. And I'm going to start the video today with just a, a quick real time because I had started this layout and realized that the camera was not working. And so I had created my background and matted my photos. So I thought I would just talk real time and then we'll put it on fast forward and finish the layout. Now the whole theme of this is signature style. So for me, I thought definitely some things that I'm gravitating to right now from a signature perspective is I always map my photo or map my layout on a piece of cardstock and I will do that with this blue here before the end as well as I've been using a lot of white cardstock and I've been adding stamping in some fashion to all of my layouts as well as using the white cardstock I added some sort of small bit of mixed media to my backgrounds and so this is definitely sort of some of the signature style or what I consider my signature style. I'm pretty eclectic when it comes to scrapbooking. I will jump around and do multiple different things, but right now this is kind of where I am gravitating to. As well as my layouts, almost all of them in some way, shape, or form have some sort of fussy cutting. So all of these florals here, these were from my How to Kill a Kit with Style kit for this month. And all of these were printed, were print and cut files and I have fussy cut all of these florals and little ephemera pieces. And I'm going to use those on this layout because if I'm going to scrap my style, there's gonna be some level of fussy cutting on this page. So those are definitely things that I would consider my signature in the types of things that I like to use. And so I am going to just show you this background which was created with some Distress Paint from Speckled Egg. And all I did was actually use my glass mat and I put some of the paint down and then I just added some water to it and kind of just brushed it all over my mat. And then basically I took my white cardstock, turned it upside down and just kind of moved it through the paint. So I actually used this mat more just as like a palette and just allowed the paint to sort of go on the background wherever it wanted to just by going back and forth on my mat. And that is what I came up with. And then I just added a little bit of Distress Spray Stain in the same color. And then I also took a stamp set from, this was the Twilight from One Canoe Two, and I just used these little hearts, and I took some Evergreen Bow in Distress Oxide and just stamped some little hearts. And that is what I'm gonna use for the background. And like I said, I'm gonna mat it on this navy cardstock. And so that will be the frame for my layout. And I definitely like the frame. I always feel like if I don't frame my layout with a piece of cardstock, I feel like a lot of times it feels like things are gonna fall off the edges. I know that's why a lot of people will line the edges of their pages with some pen. Um, I don't typically love the way it looks when I do it. I love it on other people's, but for whatever reason, I just haven't gravitated to doing it. I've done it a couple of times, but for me, the piece of white cardstock and cutting down my background by like about a half inch is perfect. And so that is what I'm going to do for my background. Now, my two photos that I'm using for this are of course Disney photos, because if you've watched enough of my channel, you know that I do scrap a lot of Disney photos. It's one of our favorite places to visit. And so I have these two photos that I'm going to use on this page and I have matted those. And this was a piece of crepe paper. I think this was from the All Heart collection. This was also in my How to Kill a Kit with Style kit. And so I'm going to use those on this page. And then everything else we will do on fast forward and we will build our clusters and put this layout together. 
But before I do that, I am just going to do a quick shout out to Christina and to just say thank you to Christina for inviting me to come along on her first redefined creative design team. I am very excited and honored. And so I am looking forward to all of the fun that we are going to have. And the team is amazing. So be on the lookout for tons of inspiration. I can't wait to see what everyone is going to create for their projects over the next couple of months. And so with that, guys, I am going to speed up this video and we are going to put this layout together. So I will catch you in a minute. All right, guys, so we are gonna go ahead and put this layout together. And I did not speed up the video quite as much as I normally do, simply because this layout did not take very long to put together because I had fussy cut all of those pieces off camera and now it's just a matter of building out my embellishment clusters to finish off this page. I do have a few pieces that I have actually purchased from the Redefine Creative Shop that I'm going to put into these clusters and I have these little hearts as well as an, ac an acrylic Mickey head that is going to go in my clusters. So it was kind of fun to be able to take those out and use those on this page since it is my first design team page for Redefine Creative. And so kind of while you're watching me build out my clusters, I am going to remind you that I will have the links to everyone who is on the design team in the description box below we have both YouTube and Instagram so be sure to go and check out everyone's signature style and what they put together for this hop and over the next couple of months you'll see plenty of inspiration both here on YouTube and Instagram for all of the different things that Christina has at Redefine Creative whether it be from the store or from the kit clubs or from her many amazing classes that she's uh, done and taught. You'll see plenty of inspiration coming to you f over the next couple of months from everyone on the design team. And I just wanted to remind you that I will have the links to not only the designers, but also the Redefine Creative store, as well as Christina's Redefine Creative Facebook public page. And on that public page, if you don't know, and be sure to check it out, Christina every day is doing a live scrapbook page on that public Facebook page and they are amazing. She is so talented and so creative. She always comes up with amazing ideas. So if you're looking for inspiration, check out that um, public page as well as everyone's YouTube channels and you'll get plenty of inspiration and there's lots and lots of uh, fun things that'll be happening over this next couple of months for sure. And then I do have a coupon code for if you are going shopping or you want to do some shopping in the Redefine, Redefine Creative Shop, I will have a coupon code in the description box down below and you can always use that to get a little extra discount on whatever you're ordering from the shop so it's a great way to save a little bit as well so while i've been kind of talking about the redefined creative shop and all of the fun things coming your way i did go ahead and build out each of those embellishment clusters and i've added some little heart stickers that were from an old Maggie Holmes collection. Now I'm coming in with some of these kind of gold bubble-like enamel dots that I'm going to put in each of my clusters. And I do glue everything down. I don't usually make you watch me glue everything down. I glued everything down off camera and I did lift all of these embellishment clusters up with some foam adhesive or adhesive foam I should say so that everything kind of pops off the page so it's not quite so flat because everything I'm using except for the acrylic and the wood veneer and then these enamels everything is pretty flat so adding that little bit of dimension really kind of helps so pretty much these enamel dots are going to finish up this page I will put my title down off camera but with that guys that is going to call it done 
the still photos are coming up and please remember to check out the links to everyone who's on the design team in the description box down below and I can't wait to bring you tons of inspiration over the next couple of months and so with that guys I will catch you on the next one have a great day everybody bye bye